Quite often you like to group rows or columns in one so make them less visible and to use the top-down approach. So for example in the sheets here you have the rows I would like to group somehow. And there is a very nice shortcut to do this. It will be a three-step attempt. So first you have to select an entire row, so shift space. Then you keep the shift pressed and then you use the arrows. So here I would use the down arrow and the last step in grouping them would be pressing shift alt and then arrow to the right. So like this. And as you can see, we have grouped it very fast. Let's do it also here. So shift space, then we keep the shift, we go with the arrow down and then we press shift alt and then the arrow to the right. And as you can see, it's grouped so we can go back and forth. Ungrouping is very easy. So again, we have to select the, the rows we want to ungroup. We press the shift space to select the entire row. Then we again, by keeping shift move with the arrow down. And then now instead of keeping the arrow to the right, we press shift alt and then the arrow to the left and we have removed. Right it's adding and left is removing. Now I have still pressed shift alt and I can play with the arrows to the right and to the left. You can do exactly the same with the columns. So for example, let's assume that we want to group the column E and F. So again, I have to select the entire column. So I press control space. I've selected. Now I keep shift pressed and then I use the arrow to the right. And then I press shift alt and then the arrow to the right. And as you can see, we have managed to group those columns. And again, if I'm to ungroup them, I press shift alt and then the arrow to the left. So to the right grouping and then to the left ungrouping, provided obviously that you have pressed at the same time shift and alt. So again, for the column, you press control space, then you press shift and then uh, the arrow to the right and shift alt and again to the right to group it and shift alt and the arrow to the left to ungroup it. So let's make a short recap on grouping and ungrouping. So if you want to group the rows, it, you should do it in three steps. So first select the entire row, shift space, then use the shift and the arrow to the down or up to select more rows and then shift alt and the right arrow in order to uh, group the rows. And for the um, columns, it's almost the same. So obviously we use different formula for selecting and I column, so control space. But the rest, as you can see, it's uh, the same. So selecting more columns is shift and the arrow, in this case, arrow to the right and shift alt the arrow to the right to group the columns. In the case of ungrouping, we have the steps almost the same as in the case of grouping. The only difference is instead of having in the last step the arrow to the right, we have it left our arrow here. And uh, the same goes for columns. So exactly the same steps as we had for grouping. And the only difference is that we have here left our and not right arrow. So as you can see, very easy trick, but it's extremely useful. And you will see in the last part of the course that you can create a very nice looking analysis in Excel very fast by using this grouping and ungrouping.